Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's recording now. Again, we had a bit of a glitch a second ago, but now we can resume. Welcome to. Welcome back to Fight the Beast. And we are going to build our first machines. So, what we've already done is we've built an electronic circuit. We smelted some iron ingots. We smelted some refined iron. And that's about it. So, what we need to do now is build our machine block for our extractor that we were building. Now the reason I already have a little bit of this done is because I started the video and I realized I wasn't recording any sound. So, the first few steps are not on the video. However, I will be going over these steps again when we build the um, macerator. So, a extractor which a tree tap is this kind of thing. It's like that, and you get a tree tap. And then to build an extractor, it is like this. And there you have an extractor. We will place our extractor here. Now we have to begin working on our macerator. Actually, no. First, we should build our generator to power it, which means first thing we need is four tin ingots. Actually, that's not right. On, hurry up and break. Okay, that sucks pretty bad. I didn't know that it did that. I thought you could break a I thought you'd break a friend and get the furnace back. I guess you can't. So There, wait, no. I need one more. It's kind of dumb to try to start this without any... So, we build a ruby pickaxe. And a cobblestone. There. Okay, now we can continue as if this little thing didn't happen. So what I was playing when I'm what I'm when I stupidly broke my furnace is I was going to convert it, it up and turn it into a iron furnace so we could smelt our tin a little quicker. And that is an iron furnace. And it smelts, I think, like 50% quicker. Right? 
Right now I'm trying to scroll over to the iron furnace, but it just won't stop lagging and let me actually do anything. So, if you were ever thinking about using Mind Video, just don't. It's so no reason. As soon as I start recording, I go from like 45 FPS down to like 3. And it doesn't let you record your voice. I'm having to, the fact that I'm doing this as a workaround. It's just a terrible software and no one should ever, ever use it. That is my review. <laughs> okay, so we need four tin ingots. If we can get the camera to point in a given direction. There, four tin ingots. And then we need three copper ingots. And that's because it requires Copper. I mean, it requires, um, what's it called? You need cable to get the batteries, which you need for a generator, which is what we're building. I'm sorry if I'm like really gappy and not, I keep forgetting what I'm saying, this lag is really distracting. So, we only really need two sticky resin because we can use redstone to power our extractor and we'll be getting more rubber per resin. And I guess I got five just from that one. So that's all we need. That's more than enough, actually. Significantly more than we need. It's actually lagging so bad that it's difficult to walk through a door. Okay, so we just put the sticky resin in the extractor and get some redstone out of the chest. And we'll just toss redstone in here to power our extractor. Also, we need to smelt some iron ingots. Um, no, copper ingots. So, if any of you have any suggestions on how I can improve my FPS, right now I'm using Mine Video, the uh, mod added on to Feed the Beast Ultimate with the Greg Tech Expensive Recipes disabled. And I'm using the Windows 7 audio recorder to record my narrations in real time. And I'm getting four frames per second right now. And all the typical things you would do, change priorities, that kind of stuff, the, uh, also all the in-game settings, those are changed lag as much as possible. 
So I'm not really sure what else I can do to get rid of this lag. Okay, so we have our R3 copper. And we have... Anyway, as I was saying, any suggestions you guys might have for fixing my lag problem? Now we have full. Okay, so we have our three... We have our six copper cables. Now we just take ten and put it like that and redstone and that makes the RE battery now I need an iron ingot one more iron ingot than I already have so I'll just use my iron furnace and then smelt these iron into refined iron which the cool thing about refining iron again is you get EXP from it which I'm not sure if you get EXP from all furnace operations or not. I don't think you do. Okay. So, now we need to pick up our iron furnace with our pickaxe. Iron furnace and it goes down there and we take it and put three refined iron like that and our battery like that and we produce a generator um, this is the basic EU producing block and EU is the energy used by industrial craft And it is powered by burnable materials. So we put some coal in there and it up its little internal battery. Really, we can take all the coal out because the one piece it already has will be enough to power it. And this will automatically transmit power to any adjacent industrial industrial craft blocks so this extractor will be powered as long as the generator either has a EU in its internal battery or has fuel Alright, this has been episode two of Fight the Beast. Um, I'm First Archon, and I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Remember to like, favorite, and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Peace out.